do anything that is not invited. And the horse started to fart. And so I smacked him. I'm John Ensign, and welcome to Talk Soup, the show that brings you a full half hour of talk show highlights without a doctor's prescription. Hey, we got something else in the mail, Tom. One of those wow. little holiday things. Misty Izzard of uh, Orlando, Florida, sent me this little uh, oh, ornament for my uh, for my Christmas tree. Check this out. It's a little skunk. And, uh, and... Stretch it. No. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> Thank you. Coming up, an Oscar-winning actress tells fart jokes. That was pretty lame. Moose prowls the streets of Manhattan and shocking outtakes from the nature series, The Trials of Life. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Animal savagery is always good for a few laughs. But first, Susan always knew her son Rick got around, but she didn't know how much of a makeout artist he really was until she went on the Jerry Springer show. It was there she was introduced to Rick's current squeeze, a free spirit named Laura. While Rick squirmed in his chair, Laura listed his countless acts of wanton debauchery. Let's get an earload. Okay. Hello. Hello. Laura, welcome to the show. They have a nice house? Hi. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what can you tell us about Rick? Well, let me tell you, Does ladies. Does Mom have a point? Yeah, ladies, Rick didn't, you know, I don't think you know as much about Rick as there is to know. <laughs> um, if you hang out anywhere around where he's at, Remember him, don't forget him, because he will take you, he will do what he wants to with you, and he's going to tell me all about it the next day. <laughs> this is the kind of man we're talking about. That's I don't right. do anything that is not invited. <laughs> well, it's not like, hey, man, I ain't never raped nobody. If they said no, I said, okay, bye. There's a hundred more right around the corner, man. I ain't slighting <laughs> You are a husband that. waiting to happen. Does he not share his women? Share? Oh, sure. Does he share? Him and... Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, him and... Share. Or scary. They so I'm not be. stingy. <laughs> so he shares his girlfriends. It's a season of giving. Rick's mom is threatened to throw him out if he doesn't shape up. Rick says the house is his, and he'll do what he damn well pleases. Wow. Take it easy, man. Monday, Jerry's guests will tell their friends and family members to dump the lying cheat in their lives. Sure, it's the holidays, but they say there's no sense in buying a tie for a guy who's sleeping around behind your back. That's no good. Dump the cheaters. Dump the cheaters. Hey, judging by this highlight, I'd say Paul is in serious denial. He simply refuses to believe that his buddy John slept with his girlfriend, Pam. This, even though Pam admits to doing the dirty deed. <laughs> Good what? God, man, what do you want, diagrams? Yeah. Who's up to Rolanda and her clear-sighted uh, clear studio audience to give Paul a much-needed wake-up call. She ain't going anywhere. Your one-night stand was nothing. If it happened, you're a punk. You know it didn't happen. You're it did James happen. Bond or something. It sure you're making this up. What do you I mean it so. happened? Yeah, it happened. Yeah. All right. yeah. You can't get a tree in your house that long. Girl, what are you talking about? Yeah. Oh. power play i that's i don't know about y'all but that's that's major <laughs> that's major fight and play i don't what what is what is it between you and paul that is really his head you off? swelled up he thinks he's got everything he don't need that her job doesn't mean everything mm -hmm. you like to have one of them wouldn't you oh, here yeah. scuff my shoes you got a job yeah. right here let's go Mm -hmm. What do you say about this? It's something that you're not understanding, okay? She's sitting up there saying that you should get it through your head that she did this. Then that means she wants to be with him. He's not your friend, and that's not your girl anymore. Yeah. Okay? Well, let her go with him. Don't the next time he passed her over there, let her stay. Because if she did it to you once, she'll do it to you again. Pam wants Paul to accept the reality of the situation so they can continue with their relationship. Paul wants Pam to die a fiery death. Ow, well, yeah, hurt. you know, that's painful. <laughs> Monday, Rolanda engages in a lively discussion between teens and their parents. The topic will be things that go on when parents aren't home. Mom always said don't play ball in the house. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. oh my nose! Oh, my nose! <laughs> oh, my... 
<laughs> Oscar winner Emma Thompson stopped by The Tonight Show to chat with Jay Leno about her role in the new film Sense and Sensibility. The classically trained actress talked about various things, like her techniques for getting into character and the unique challenge of working with animals. And then they wheeled the horses on. And we had these horses, they were town horses. They were very kind of, you know, sophisticated town horses. Yeah. So, so this is Devonshire. Hey, nice place, you know. And um, they didn't, they had not experienced the sort of industrial strength Devonshire oats that they were oh, giving us out there. This played the most unspeakable havoc with their colons and digestive tracts. So um, Alan Rickman had to do this scene, and he came on on the horse, and the horse had blown up like a balloon. So Alan was going on the horse like this, you know, because it was huge. That was my audition for Basic Instinct, by the way. I wonder what that Why didn't I get that part? Did you audition for that part? Didn't we do? Yes, I did. Anyway, so Alan comes on, he gets off the horse, he starts the scene, lovely Jane Austen, elegant, elegant, da 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 da, and the horse started to fart and it how can i convey to you the magnitude and the length of this flatulence it was it was absolutely extraordinary okay go ahead go ahead get it in your system i'll wait i know it's coming is that all is that all you have for me can't do any better than that Believe it or not, the horse continued to fart through the entire take, and the director never yelled cut. Emma did the scene the best she could. God, that's a weird technique, not cutting when the horse was farting. I wonder who the director was. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. He's sort of a running gag for him. Monday on The Tonight Show, Jig gabs it up with actor Kevin Bacon. They'll promote the recent video release of the film Apollo 13, which is priced to own for Christmas. How convenient. Coming up later in the show, find out what re uh, women really want in the 90s. Wayne Newton talks about the time he gave Johnny Carson a smack in the face. But first, a savage animal attack spawns gales of laughter on the Mike and Maddie show. Since you're a chef, you'll appreciate this. He prepares his food very differently than most animals. <laughs> the television event. You're a rogue. This is Soup. Talk Soup. I'm your host, Henson. John Henson. This clip comes to us from Maddie. Mike and Maddie. Hey, uh, John, did you call it on the James Bond stuff? Sorry. Very sorry. <laughs> Parents may want to gather the youngins around the set, because this Mike and Maddie highlight features a delightful member of the Hawk family. And what child doesn't enjoy watching a bird beat its prey senseless before feasting on its bleeding flesh, huh? Whoa. Let's join SeaWorld animal ambassador Julie Scardina as she presents the hilarious antics of this murderous fowl. Well, Justin, you got to watch this, because what? this is pretty spectacular. See I this see, lizard uh, right here? Well, that doesn't scare me at all. That's okay. a rubber lizard. Yeah, well, the next bird actually eats these out in the wild. Oh, my gosh. And Look since you're a chef, you'll appreciate this. He prepares his food very differently than most animals. <laughs> <laughs> he pounds them. Oh, that's hysterical. <laughs> The bird's no. going, you would no. not no. believe no. the day I had. <laughs> all I do is run around this jungle. That's all you ask. Boo, boo, boo. Why can't we all just get along? I am so angry at you. Hey, the bird savagely bludgeons its prey. Boy, that's rich. Yeah. Tune in next week as innocent gazelles are ripped to shreds by Bengal tigers. It's another side-splitting excursion into the animal kingdom. Whoa. Monday, that was a fake laugh. Monday, Mike and Maddie welcome Bob Keeshan, otherwise known as Captain Kangaroo. He'll tell us whatever happened to Mr. Green Jeans and read a few passages from Mike Mulligan and a steam show. Do you think? Yeah. We appreciate the laughter, but if it's not, if it's fake, just save it. Mm -hmm. It's a fake one. Muggings carjackings. Nothing phases the jaded New Yorker, but put two girls in a moose outfit and the Big Apple goes berserk. Yeah. <laughs> Allow me to explain. Alicia and Michelle wanted to impress the special guys in their lives, so they made like Bullwinkle through the streets of Manhattan. The stunt was performed at the behest of one Mark Wahlberg, who captured it all on videotape. 
Can I get a bottle whip? Thirty dollars, please. You think Moose have IDs? Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't accept. Thirty dollars for ID. Thank you, anyway. You know this lady? I know her pretty well, yes. How do you sister's know her? Roommate. You pardon me? My sister's roommate. Welcome to the show. Well, you've gone to all this extreme, Alicia. Now that you're here and you've revealed yourself, what do you want to say to this guy? Um, I just want to say that I hope you really appreciate this because I made a total ass of myself in Manhattan. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Rocky, watch me pull human out of my butt. <laughs> Resto. <laughs> Presto. Wow, you do that good. I'll try one more time. Presto. Wow. Didn't feel good that day. <laughs> Jeff was touched by Alicia's gesture, and who wouldn't be? At the time of this taping, their relationship was going great guns, whatever that means. Fun day on Mark. Sisters and brothers will square off with their drug-addicted parents. They'll try to get them to go into rehab. Wayne Newton is known in Vegas as Mr. Excitement. When he's not generating it on stage, he's producing a fair share of it in his personal life. In the following Conan highlight, he talks about the time he clocked Johnny Carson. Oh, my God, he clocked Johnny. The altercation was provoked by jokes Johnny was making about Wayne's sexual orientation. Here's Wayne now with more on the story. I jumped in a car, and I drove over to NBC, mm -hmm. uh, Burbank, and I walked into his office. And he was there with his producer, and whom I had known for a lot of years. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I said to his producer, would you excuse us, please? Mm -hmm. And he left, and uh, Johnny never got up, even, mm -hmm. from his desk. And uh, I confronted him, and uh, he turned pale. And uh, I told him what my intentions were. Mm -hmm. And uh, he wouldn't get up, mm -hmm. and so I smacked him. You really hit him? Yeah. Wow. Like, how hard did you hit him? Would you like to see? No, I don't want to see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see. You really hit him, but... I smacked him open-handed, uh -huh. you know. Okay. Because I was so fed up with it. And, right. Uh, you know, his excuse was such a lame excuse, and that is, I don't write that stuff. I just, you know, I just uh, go on the air and say it. And I said, well, I wish you did, mm -hmm. because that makes you a little more than a puppet, you know. And uh, Wow. At least someone would have, you know, derived some, some benefit from it if you had written it. But since and, then, you've learned it's wrong to hit a talk show host. No, not really. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He only slapped Carson? Big whoop, duh. Open-handed slap. That's not so tough. It's the way my sister fights. You kidding me? Let me tell you something, Wayne. You ought to get it together, because that's not very... Don't get that. Still to come on Talk Soup, secrets from the author of the book, How to Pick Up Beautiful Women. And Dr. Ruth talks about a very intimate encounter she once had with George Hamilton. Don't get the phone! Love. When I asked Jenny to be my wife, was at the. Welcome back to the soup. I'm the host. Oh man. She's after you, bud. <laughs> Three o'clock on the playground. I'm gonna get slapped by Wayne Newton, Mr. Excitement. Can I watch? No. Oh. Mary's three daughters are concerned about her out of control behavior. They say mom has used her divorce papers like a license to act like a reckless party animal. And they would rather her spend some more time at home and less time at the local singles bars. As they told Gordon Elliott, mom has become so popular in the club scene the bartenders give her free gifts. That's a bad sign. <laughs> didn't, didn't you get a little present from a, a club you went to? Didn't they give you a little present? A teddy? Me. That was you, Mary. That was her. That's not me. me. I was thinking. She wore that, that was her. For a band member, she got dressed in the bathroom, went out there with a trench coat on, and did it in front of everybody, and that was horrible. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Sorry, I, that's that was me. I that's confused her. Teddy flashing mothers. So. Here, yes, sir. You wanted to say something? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say that 
you, you're all grown over there. What, uh, to, to Mary's? Yeah, to Mary's kids. If you start holding your mom back now, she's going to start to resent you. If you don't let your mom go be her own person, she's just going to have animosity for you. So she let her go have her fun. We let her go. We never tell her not to. We've never ever told her not to go. This woman is the kind of woman that would, I mean, you tell her to do one thing. She'll do, she started smoking because uh -huh. my dad told her she couldn't do it. All right. So I don't want to tell her she can't do it. I just we want some time for us. Right. Yeah. I just a little time. I don't yeah. want to take all of her time, right. you know? I, she goes every night. Say I that. could at least get a Saturday night or a Friday night when I come say, home. Say That's that, man. Go ahead a second. Friday and Saturday nights, those are like the best party nights of the week, you know? Why don't you come over on Sunday when she's all hung over and needs help mopping up the vomit? Oh, <laughs> great. You've offended Tom. That says something. Monday, Gordon screened some of America's most daring home videos. Tune in as daredevils risk life and limb to perform stunts in front of their camcorders. Go ahead, throw the anvil on my brain. After hearing Dr. Ruth speak candidly about sexual matters, a fellow would have to think twice about letting the lusty lady sit on his lap. But apparently George Hamilton had no qualms about doing just that. It seems the unlikely duo were in Sun Valley, Idaho, several years ago for an Olympic benefit. One thing led to another, and it wasn't long before George was making the good doctor's dreams come true. In the beginning of my career as a sex therapist on television, I was sitting on his lap on a sleigh. We raised money for the Olympic teams. Do you remember that? Yes, we were slayed together. But I have to tell you a secret. There was somebody, no, no names mentioned, a young, gorgeous woman, and she was very jealous because here was this little four foot seven <laughs> woman who talks about sex sitting on this gorgeous man's lap. She was? Was this a girlfriend of his at the time? I'm not saying anything. No. Oh, come no, on, no. tell me. We'll talk no, later, no, 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 later. later. Uh, but my <laughs> favorite moment of the whole evening was we were in this beautiful sleigh. It was Sun Valley, Idaho. There were about 20 people there. Dr. Ruth was on my lap. We hit a couple of bumps. She thought I was getting a little excited, but it was not true. Uh -oh. I was, I was, I what was holding myself. No, no, I was holding myself back. I was being a gentleman, as you know. And just at that moment, the fireworks went off, and she said to me, "I've never had an orgasm like this." <laughs> Don't believe him. <laughs> Gee, Doctor Ruth, huh? I don't know what to say. That's sort of. I, Randolph Mantooth, find this subject crass and disgusting. Can we see some extra footage on that? No, oh, no, oh, Randolph Mantooth, you should be ashamed of yourself. She's four foot seven, for God's sake. Come on, you know better. Monday, George and Alana welcome singer Michael Feinstein. My bet is that I'll sing a few tunes off his latest album, Michael Feinstein Sings the Hugh Martin Songbook. Well, then again, I've been known to be wrong on occasion, so. Well, the holiday season is upon us, and parents are racking their brains trying to come up with toy ideas for the little monsters. Well, if that's the case, they may want to pay attention to this Biggers and Summers clip. It features Darius Solomon, a rep for the specialty store Hamaker Schlemmer. Up next, the shows Mark the latest and unique holiday gifts. Now, this is kind of cool. This is a, uh, a clock that... It's a horoscope clock. Okay. Let's... Instead of waking up every day just a radio or a buzzer, why not wake up to your horoscope? See what your day's supposed to be like. This is your horoscope for December 6th. You are really in control of your life. Very good. See, that's kind of neat. And it changes every day. Every day, so you can wake up to a new one. Now, you can have two people do it. Two? Oh, really? Yes. Now, this is a... Go ahead. Put your monkey on, All right. so to speak. This is the, these are the sound mitts. Okay, now watch this, folks. This is great. And yours? And here we got... Uh-oh. Our monkey is not monkeying. Uh-oh. See, so yeah. Uh, let me show right, you how you gotta, to do this. Right, you got to show me how to do it. Demo guy here. I got to show you how to do well, this. Well, it's even better. What's that? Ready? We have a technical department. If you ever have a problem, you can call our technical department. They'll... Your technical department will take care of it? Absolutely. And these are uh, these Velcro kind of Velcro balls. balls. So they stick up. right inside there. <laughs> every time, right you, catch it, every time you catch it, you've got, you've got some animal action going on. Wow. Puppets make noise when you hit them in the mouth? Let me try. What, make what, the monkey what, noise. What, ow, what monkey noise? Make the monkey ow, noise. You know what I'm talking that, about. The hammer and slimmer monkey me, noise. Me, hey, Tom, help, help me. Help me. Hold him down. Go, get him, guys. Come on. Make the monkey noise. Make the monkey noise. Make the monkey noise. Make it. Make the monkey noise. Make it. Make the noise. Make the noise. Only got time for the good parts of movies? Then check out Cut to the Chase. Right, John? Sounds great to me. When do we start? We have. Each week you get a major star, a great film, and I usher you through a story in just 30 minutes. Ooh, sorry. We've been screening around the clock to get the latest show ready. 
This week it's Killers from Space. Only got time for the good parts? Then cut to the chase. A movie in just 30 minutes. It's a new weekly show with Art Man, Friday nights at 8.30 Eastern, right here on E. It's what you don't see that makes the movie. Go behind the scenes. Welcome back to Talk Soup. I'm John Henson. You know, for centuries, men have pounded their heads onto the pavement trying to figure out how to pick up beautiful women. Now all the self-flagellation can finally cease. Wow, that's cool. Author John Egan has the secret to scoring the babes, and he's finally put it into a book appropriately titled How to Pick Up Beautiful Women. In this Danny highlight, he shares this knowledge with a panel of self-proclaimed chick magnets, including WWF wrestling champ Sean Miles. Oh, boy. They picked out average guys who had personality attributes like friendly, nice personality, honest, altruistic. What I mean by altruistic is not being selfish, putting other people in front of their selves, getting in touch with their well-being. This is what uh, turns the woman of the, of the 90s on. And the guys who were the obvious choices to begin with, they, they turned the women off if they were self-centered or full of themselves. How, no, about the men, how about the men on my panel today? To any of the men on my panel today, have what it what takes to attract a woman of the yes, 90s? Please. After they read my book, they might, but not right now. No. <laughs> Sean Michaels, are you sure? Are you positive that a guy like me? Yeah, I'm sure. John Egan says beautiful women want a guy who's secure, honest, and has a skunk spot in his hair right over here. Oh, you're on the end. Actually, I made up the last part, but you get the idea. That about does it for this edition of Talk Soup. This is John Henson reminding you that Christmas only comes once a year, and it may even be canceled if the ratings don't improve. Oh, boy. Don't get it. Hey, let's hit Senior Sock again. Make it! Make the monkey noise! 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 Coming up next, catch the who. to be my wife was at the Olympics in Lower Hammer. Money. The stakes are very high. Tragedy. I don't believe he's not with us anymore. And triumph. When I'm out on the ice, I really enjoy performing for an audience. Sound like a movie? There's nothing quite like the epic grandeur of the ice. From ice capades to escapades, ice skating has never been cooler. Join me, Dorothy Hamill, your host for E on Ice. E on Ice skates into your living room Saturday night at 6 Eastern, right here on E. Holy moly. What can turn a grumpy old man? I haven't been with a man for a long time. Me neither. Into a handsome, charming, silver-tongued rogue. Buonasera, signore. Nothing. Jack Lemon, Walter Matthau, and Margaret. Sophia Loren, grumpier old men. When you say we go back to my place, I'll show you my cannelloni. Well, you gotta stick with what works. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, December 22nd at theaters everywhere. Reveal the natural beauty of your wood with Pledge. Pledge has cleansing conditioners to gently lift dirt and fingerprints. So you see that beautiful shine every time you dust. Pledge. Let the natural beauty of your wood shine through. S.E. Johnson Wax. Where can you find some of your favorite sitcom characters? I'm right here on E. The Love Boat. Weekdays at 2 Eastern on E. Is there a cat food that helps maintain cats' urinary tract health? Can Cat Chow Special Care help reduce urinary pH? Cat Chow Special Care reduces urinary pH and provides low dietary magnesium to help maintain cats' urinary tract health. To get your free sample, just call 1-800-853-4999. Will my cat like it? Cat Chow Special Care is made with real chicken to make it taste great, and it has no added artificial colors and flavors. So call 1-800-853-4999 for your free sample now. Cat Chow Special Care will help maintain cat's urinary tract health, and your cat will love its real chicken taste. I'm calling now. 
For a free sample, call 1-800-853-4999. Purina Cat Chow Special Care Brand Cat Food. Better care makes better cats. See that makes the movie. Go behind the scenes of Sabrina, Saturday at 1.30 Eastern, 10.30 Pacific, only on E. You know it's a movie when I got a girl enamored by me. The power of Alka-Seltzer Plus cold medicine is taking shape in Alka-Seltzer Plus liquid gels. Rushing concentrated medicines to relieve your worst cold. Rush relief with Alka-Seltzer Plus liquid gels. I wish this could last all night. All night, all night, all night. Duracell. Oh, it can. And tomorrow night, and maybe the next night, and the following day. <laughs> the Copper Top. No battery is stronger, longer. Once upon a time, there was an ugly duckling who went to Paris and came back a swan. I didn't recognize you. The haircut. To say the least. She met two handsome princes named Linus Whoa. and David. This is too much fun. She enchanted them both. <laughs> You're dazzling. She's terrific. And turned their whole kingdom upside down. Oh, he loves her. Oh. Sabrina. Harrison Ford, Julia Ormond, Sabrina. Rated PG. Sneak preview Saturday, December 9th. For diaper rash treatment and long-lasting protection, take the advice of an authority. I prefer Desitin. In fact, Desitin is recommended by three times more pediatricians than any other diaper rash formula. Imagine hearing the call of the road, not the road itself. Imagine having the world at your fingertips. Imagine worrying less and enjoying more. Imagine an automobile so precisely engineered it feels as if it were formed from a single piece of steel. Introducing the all-new 1996 Mercury Sable. Imagine yourself in a Mercury. By bringing the blender to the food, instead of the food to the blender, you spend more time creating dishes and less time doing them. The Braun Hand Blender and Chopper.